you know. As long as it kind of fits her build, it's fine. The skill system in this it game is very flexible, so I mean, it's always, yet. always good. The duelist is talking over you. Said the skill system is very flexible. I found something on my map here. Yeah, you found it. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, by the way, that was easy. I, that, it does a shit ton of damage now, my fucking. with like the physical damage support. Oh, yeah. Like with. yeah, like the maim. I took off maim. Or. no, was it maim? No, it was something else. Ruthless. Ruthless, yeah. I just. Which I guess it's pretty alright. I mean, it, it, I'm doing more damage now than I was before. I wonder if that's just an, the effort of consistency or what? Oh, we have Ancestral Protector. Oh, I already have that one. That's what I'm using right now. Oh, one more point and we get some mana leech. Oh man. It may not actually do a whole lot for me at this stage in the game. No, I'm, I, I'm trying my best to keep your mana, like, viable. I'm sure you are. If, if that's even the right way to say the thing I'm trying to say. We get the waypoint. Oh, there's a waypoint here now? What the fuck? There was always. Well, and as of 3.0, they, they put that there. I don't remember that at all. Well, then you're dumb, because we played through 3.0 like twice. Alright, there's the Voltaxic and Vol Vol Voltic Seal. What the fuck? Vol I think it's Volt. Is it Voltaic or Voltaic? I don't, I, I don't know. And then the Infernal Seal. Just well, that one's a lot easier to say. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just pretend he was the only one there. Hey, do you need any stats? Nah. And mana? I mean, I, I like stats. Uh, I don't want 4 of life though, fucking... No, I don't want that. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit, he says. That's a garbage flask, I don't even know why I wasted identify scroll on it. Destroy my life. Oh, by the way, this is one of my favorite soundtracks. Game. I guess I can turn that up slightly. It's kind of a weird thing to just randomly point out. I mean, it's it's very it's very quiet though. But I mean, what can you do? Uh, whatever. It's subtle. Because um, basically the 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 giant. I, I don't know. I don't. Know, I'll point them out when I when I see it. But there's the giant flame towels um, in this area. We call it's them towels. You out fireballs. Yeah. Oh, Verici's here. <laughs> oh shit. Let's see Ver a wants. Moment of your time. Uh, he probably wants us to assassinate another guy. <laughs> why, why can't why can't it be something like help another person with like fucking end world hunger? Oh, it would be impossible. Or go to somebody or go to somebody's hideout and help them move their furniture. Yeah. You know? I, yeah, I'm gonna just leave my portal up here and then you can fucking make a portal when we go back. Yeah, because it seems like he's gonna make us go really far. We're backtracking pretty far as it is. This is this is the advantage of playing in, in Burrow Operative, because if I made another TP scroll down, if I made another TP down here, then uh, I mean it would just replace my old one. But if Pat makes one, then we can cheat the system. Yeah, and hopefully Mike remembers that he made one up there. I just let I can't do this just yet. Jonah unchained. Well, he is now chained. Chained in death. I. Alright, he's, he's level 2 now. Alright. Oh, there's a coral ring here. I'll take that, actually, with me. Coral rings are I'm good. gonna sell stuff while we're here, because my inventory is pretty full. Oh, there we go. This is nice. We got... This is what we like, actually. This has a double life roll on it, so... That's gonna raise my life pretty substantially. It actually added, like, 80 health to me. That's, that's good. That's actually rather impressive. Yeah, so we'll, uh... I'll, I'll give this other ring to Pat. How you doing? I, I, I've got I've got rings I like right now. I don't have a good identify those. I don't even care. All right. And fuck this flask. All right, there we go. I don't think anyone else has anything for us. Nope. Pat went through my portal, and my portal happens to lead us up here. Oh yeah. There, Pat. Have a look ring. at that teamwork. I wondered why that item dropped identified. Uh, there was a moment of confusion. You wonder things too much. I do. Alright. 
So the great thing about the build I'm doing here is up to now, it's been like pretty much you don't need to talk to anybody. You can play this solo. And that's kind of been the 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 kind of the intent behind it. Yeah, you kind of have, have a good time, look around. I mean, like, I'm doing a lot of the damage in this party, I would think, but you know, have me disagree, who knows? I mean, we're both doing a pretty substantial amount of damage, I think. All right, well, to, to make Pat feel better, that's what we'll say. Uh, oh yeah. Sword, no. We're using that's a one-handed one. one. We're looking for just two-handed weapons and chromatics. Oh, blacksmith box. All right, I have I have another chance sword. Oh man, let's get that one mod blue item. Let's get let's do it. <laughs> I did yeah, it again. Boy. I fucking three times in a row. How's that possible? <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, here, go back and get your shit. No, I'm not. I don't care. No. Oh my god. I'm mad. It's a, it flat. is the orb of chance, and the, one of the chances could be you roll the worst thing every single time. Which is pretty accurate for you, all things considered. Because uh, this would have actually been a, this is a weapons box, so it actually would have been nice if it. It's it a black, yeah, a blacksmith, yeah. It would have been nice if it rolled something nice for me, like because I, you know, if I get like a rare or something out of it, you know, you could get something good, especially because I like weapons. This is a duelist. Maybe you'll have better luck than I, but you know, it's RNG can be harsh, mistress. Sometimes. Or know, if you're like me, you just don't care. Everything just always comes up pet house. Are you running clarity? I don't think you're running clarity. I'm not running clarity, but okay. I am running the uh, rowing cry. Okay. Because I, I noticed a significant drop off in my mana. Yeah, I run the Rallying Cry, like, constantly, so you should have that at least going. For the Clarity, I don't have the mana to do. Not to do Wrath and Hate, or Wrath and Anger. Fair enough. Not yet, anyway. I was just wondering why that was the case. Mike, I've tried to be as a supporty as I can, but there's only so much I can do to help you. Oh, stone hammer. Help me help you help you. Actually, I didn't look at the ring I got. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good. It's got some damage on it. It's really not that much better than what I have, though. No. I'll keep the other one. Actually, this has resists, so I should take it. Never mind. Resi well, nice. Resists are very good. I forgot about that. So we're looking for a very nice character here. Who are we looking for? Even though I should end it off, but fuck it, whatever. I'll just do some weird editing shit with it, as I normally do. But whatever, who cares? Alright, talking to characters. You are not a cockroach. Strange. Inundated with cockroaches, I am. Black ones, four limbs, nasty, spiky things. Are you spiky? If so, my ribbons will pluck your spines. Malachi liked spines. Liked my spine. Pretty spine. Bejeweled and bountiful. Enough to make an empire weep. Do you weep, not a cockroach? I do. Tears are infinite. Why, on this very day, I found a new reason to cry. What is that you have, not a cockroach? My ribbon spool. Those black ones wanted them, my ribbons. Wanted to wrap the city in black ribbons. Now they are my ribbons forevermore. Forevermore. I hate forever. I could tear happy ever after from Bard's bleeding tongues. You're still here, not a cockroach. Oh, gratitude. Yes, I should give you a token. Token? What token? This? Is this to your liking? Alright, uh, now we decide on what we want. We kind of need intelligence, because I've been kind of depending upon that this whole time, so we get a rare amulet. It's kind of nice. The cockroaches will come again. They want the twist. That cockroach emperor. The other bugs shout his name. Ravisius. Cross the river. Squash the emperor cockroach in his nest. The bridge. It is barricaded. That spawns a tricky question. Questions. Questions. I asked too many questions. Chit has told me so. I asked where it all went. Our... feculence. He made them show me. Under the river. 
The sewers from this side to that. Filthy, fetid tunnels like Aurora's cloaca. A black place, crawling with the undying. Once beautiful and arrogant gemlings, now the foul waste of the Empire. Fitting, isn't it? Apt. 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 I like you, not a cockroach. I like that you listen. It would annoy me if the Undying murdered you. Formetic Sulfite. That's what you need. You have some already. You are a resourceful Umbug now, aren't you? Give it to me. I was all eyes and ears when Malachi worked. I will make something of your Formetic Sulfite. I will forge an infernal talc that will bring the most furious of light to the Undying Darkness. A dash of arcanity. Pinch of insanity, a whisper of profanity, and the infernal talc is now ready. All right, we got it. We'll talk again soon. This bitch is crazy, dude. Yeah, she's um, I think she's immortal or some shit. I don't fucking know. Oh, this is a really uh, nice. She's... This is a nice fucking amulet. Yeah, this is the one I got. Fuck you, no one cares. Oh, my Bye. spirit is spent. Okay, it's definitely an amulet. It, it, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, we can go to the internal laboratory. So we got an infernal talcumer. What the hell is over here? That was a journal entry, I'm not gonna look at that. Watch the lore on your own time. There's a fuck ton of lore here. So this is the another Revere device. I awoke. Feverish and barely conscious, I set to drawing these maps through the sable hours. By morning, my fingers ached, my eyes burned, Yet still I found no rest. The reverie commanded its rendering. The reverie device now stands completed. I've placed the first of my maps within its receptacle. I've taken my maiden voyage into nightmare. I know now that which sent me this precious gift. It knows me, expects my return. It would be foolish to disappoint. Malachi. Alright, that's kind of neat. So there's really not much else here to this place. Uh, this is one of the... It's more of an endgame thing, but we'll learn what that is a little later. Still kind of I like cool. how Malachi is literally everywhere. Yeah, fucking guy. Alright. Uh, we'll never get the end of him, Jesus. So we'll go back to town for a sec, see if anyone has anything to tell me. Oh, cause I, I did their thing, I went to see the Gemling Queen, or whatever, fuck. Oh, Gregor, yeah, he wants to talk. The Gemling Queen? She's... impossible. How did she survive? Why is she not one of the Undying? No. No, these questions can wait. There's a more pressing one. Is she safe from the Ebony Legion? You've been busy. With the spool back where it belongs, the ribbons should be able to keep the Ebony Legion at bay. We've both seen what they can do to a man. Whether you were saving your own skin or thinking of others, it matters little to me. You succeeded where I did not. You have stood in the presence of the Gemling Queen. I can only hope to meet her in my nightmares. All right. Bye. So what's the deal with the Gemling Queen? I forgot. Is she like uh, infused like with the power of the gems or whatever the fuck? Well, I mean, all the Undying were to a different, like a like a varying degree, but apparently she's, she's like, she doesn't have just like one or two like most of them have. She's like, sh like she's like half gems at this point. <laughs> she's a gem. Well, yeah, I guess I guess you could say that. I put a couple of TP scrolls away. All right. Well, I guess she's like immortal or some shit. Who the fuck knows? Um, We're damn near close to it. Damn near close to it. Because this game is very much centered around all these gems we keep getting that have to, uh, different special powers. Very interesting thing. So, uh, we just got an Infernal Talc, and we have to find Burn the Undying Blockage, which is something we actually passed by, but I guess I didn't say anything about it. The, um, but she, this is her way around, is that there's this giant gaping anus here. And, and we, we gotta destroy the Great Mighty Pooh. Yeah, and we destroy it. That's it. The blockage is done with. You know where I want to go now, Mike, after seeing that? Where do you want to go? Disney World? I want to go to Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm gonna have curry tonight. Just telling you. Well, <laughs> that's gonna be gonna <laughs> like be actually, uh, it's like gonna actually. be like a reenactment a little bit later tonight then. <laughs> like like I'm actually having that. It's be great. I know. It's gonna be a reenactment. I love me some curry. Actually going to. Actually. I I sound like Gregor. So we are right now, we went through zero, we now arrived at opening barracks. So you're all Gravishes somewhere. There's also another one of those life armor ones. Pat usually handles that. Yeah, I pretty much handle everything. Except currency this time for some reason. I mean, I, I figured that I would hold on to it, but whatever. Now when we get full stacks of cards, I'll give them to you. Okay. That way we can complete our deck and banish uh, Gravishes to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I don't have I don't have my Pegasus card yet. Wait, You're no, he was a he was a he was a guy in that show, wasn't he? He wasn't a card. Fuck. It's like I'm fucking lagging again, I think. Or no, I'm not. No, he's just calling down the catapults of God on us, it seems. There's something to God tell us. Damn it! Uh, oh no, I have apparently nothing to tell him. Oh wait, here. Dying in battle. The only honorable thing you've ever done, Gravisius. There we go. I just uh, we need to talk shit to him. He apparently was a big deal, but I mean, we just kind of wiped the floor with him. You are the true spirit of Makor, the shark, not the cowardly beast that sinks its teeth into the lonely swimmer. You strike the Waikoam, the canoe, spilling a feast of men into the water. Hunters turn hunted that you dine on at your pleasure. Have this, Makor. Alright, we got Cyclone, which I don't really care much about. Ice Crash, Blast Rain, or Charge Dash. I get that now? What the fuck? Yep. Uh, we could try that out. Ice Crash kind of sucks, though, but we'll maybe try it anyways. Just for the memes. I guess I can Just do Cyclone. For the memes. Yeah, I can, do, I can do most of this. Cyclone's great now, dude. Yes. Oh, I get Ancestral War Chief. Uh, let's see. Enemy Guardian, Blast Rain. Well, this is kind of. Oh, there we go. Earthquake. That's a great one. But we can't use it with swords, unfortunately. Oh, we can use Blade Flurry, but that's one handed. So we can't do that. Uh, so we get a bunch of new skills now, so we can kind of like start looking at some of these. Ice Crash. Sure. We'll put that on too. It's, these cost money, though. I take Cyclone? No. Okay, Cyclone. All right, just know, just know if we're trying a bunch Bye. of things I can show you. So let's, um, so Earthquake we can't do, unfortunately, because it requires um, an axe, mace, or staff. So that this is a really good one, by the way. It's very good if you have any of those three weapons. I would honestly recommend it, but it's not that great early on, though. I will say that. It's good when you get a couple of gems around that, um, I should actually say. Uh, I'm thinking I should just level it in my offhand though. You get him, boy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a second weapon, I think, or a shield, to put that into. A second weapon it is. And where's uh? Holy shit! There's a loud car. Mm. I that I was hearing. Uh, all right, so we're gonna have that. Uh, so we're gonna try out. Okay, let's put on Cyclone on uh, instead of Last right. And I'll put, like, Charge Dash on, uh... Fuck, I can't put Charge Dash anywhere. There's no green sockets. At nice. All. Still breathing, eh? Fucking hell. Whatever, I'll just take, I'll take this chest piece. It's fine. Nice, eh? Yeah, shut up. Um, so, did you go through my portal? Yes, you did. I did not, actually. No, okay, go through my fucking portal, then. Okay, we're gonna Give try... One second. Right, uh, so. I'm putting my gyms in order. Jesus. This is this is an ability I can use to go go away. It's actually not that bad. Charge dash. Uh, this is new, by the way. Channeling attack. Uh, lightning melee. So how do you lower the the, the channeling time? Is it dura It's not duration, is it? Channeling time? No. It, the channeling time is based off movement speed. Uh. Take your boots off. Ha ha me, ha me. Take your boots off, bro. That's oh, fucking. That's rude to say to someone. I mean, it's definitely something. I prefer leap slam, honestly. You can have it if you want. All right, and now we're using a new ability called Cyclone. 
There we go. And the other one we have, potentially, is, uh, Ice Crash. I tried to use this ability before and I already know I don't like it, but that's- I'm just showing you guys that <laughs> you can do that. It's kind of like Earthquake, except it's really not. But we'll, we'll do Cyclone for a bit, just because that seems fun. Also, also they made it, like, not garbage. Now. So now I get to spin to win. I have never done a Cyclone build, by the way, um, so this may be my first one. My spirit is spent. Fuck, that eats up your meta like fucking... Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Check out the ghost. Get him over here, ghosty. Fuck, he, he went away. I didn't get him fast enough. Uh, I blame Pat, honestly. It's probably for the best. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do spin to win. For a little bit. As, as long as you're having fun, Mike, that's all that matters. I want the fucking Quicksilver. There you go. Is it oh, dude, you can Quicksilver and be fast? Nice. Okay, this thing eats like fucking... Like mana, like no tomorrow. What's the fucking mana cost? 19? Fucking hell. Alright, we just got ourselves another um, uh, Quicksilver. So we're actually going to put that on. Because Quicksilvers are nice. Because we want to be able to run fast. This isn't necessarily an end game thing that we're going to do, but it is good for this part of the game where it's like, you don't need so many life flasks, but at the same time, it's like, eh, whatever. All right, welcome to the uh, It's better, temple. especially if you know what you're doing, too. Yeah, I guess so. So now we're going to see um, uh, the boss's area is Big Bubba. <laughs> As oh, like. Jesus. And uh, you may have heard me saying things before. About, um, oh, I changed my mana flask key. Actually, I, I actually like Cyclone now. Cyclone's fucking sweet. It's always been sweet, dude. Uh, yeah, but it, like, it, it, it would stop on literally everything. That's why it sucks. Now it's good. Fuck. I have no mana ever. Oh no, it's because I keep pressing the wrong fucking key. <laughs> keep pressing four. Mall. Neat. Let's check that, that out. That amulet is awful. Oh, dude, this mall might be really good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. How good is it? Uh, good enough. I'm switching to it. How much? How much more damage is it? Uh, enough. All right. Uh. There we go. So now we have that. Does a little bit more DPS, but the main thing is I can actually use Earthquake on it now. So we can actually look at Earthquake. Even though we're probably not really going to use it for very long. One second, sorry, I have it on this key. I don't even want our Ice Crash anymore. Okay, so if you guys want to see how Earthquake is, this. <laughs> That's why I said it's not very good early on, but it requires a couple of supports to make it actually very nice. So it has like, this is actually one of my favorite skills, because it has a, um, you do a smash attack on the ground, and then after a second and a half, um, it has like a little aftershock effect here, uh, which does, a mo it does like a little AoE and then does a giant AoE, and you need to hook that up with reduced duration, and it just needs a couple support gems to be actually really nice, but it's actually one of the, probably the highest damaging uh, abilities in the game, because the aftershock does so much damage. It's really, it's, it is really a good one to go for. But I think we're all on the fucking cyclone train now, so... Uh, if you want to talk about meta, that skill right there, Earthquake, was meta for so long, it's unreal. I liked it. I liked it. A lot. But now, apparently... You ready? Yeah, good. I mean, now cyclone is actually really nice. Oh, it's Torglossa. Uh, okay, we got Stud Belt for more stun duration. Maybe that. I guess I'll just look at these ones. Uh, these boots are pretty good, actually. You should take these. Because mm. I'm, I'm using mine as a for links. I'm kind of using mine for that, too. Alright, never mind then. Then it's all garbo. Man, I got another mace again, so I don't have to roll anything. Alright, here we go. Here we go, big dick Cole. Oh, it's Big Bubba. 
By the way, this is the guy that Gregor was talking about. His his uh, little fucking cellmate that uh may, little. may may or may not have uh, ripped him a new asshole. I mean, a guy that big, Jesus Christ, I couldn't even imagine. Fuck, I keep I keep fucking cycloning into his shit. This is this is actually basically the only uh, the early version of Brutus. Actually, Brutus worked pretty much identical to how that worked, and then they changed how Brutus fight worked. So, they've actually gotten like they've really changed their boss fights over time. They used to be they got more and more complicated. Now, like as you guys get into like act, um, as we get into like it's act really five, this act. I mean this act isn't as much, but yeah, it gets more and more like like holy shit. They really tried hard on boss fights. Which is bad. Fair enough. Which is bad for me because I fucking don't care about boss fights. All right, we got. I mana. like boss fights. We got mana leech boys. Let's see if it uh. Let's see if it does anything. But it's a percent dam percent of damage though, right? Yeah. Oh, it is. It's sustainable now. Nice. Sweet. So I'm leeching enough uh, mana back now that uh. We're good. We're Gucci. Sweet. Oh, dude, this is so good now. Holy shit. I don't know if I want to actually do a cyclone build though, that's the thing. Alright, Lunaris Temple level 2. Alright, well... The interesting thing about cyclone is every skill has its own little nuance. The way to increase the area of effect for... Yeah. Cyclone, that my character was talking. Yeah, so was mine and you talked over it anyway, so whatever. Oh well. Mubby. The, way I mean, to, the best way to increase area effect for Cyclone is actually getting weapon range, like out of the skill tree and in through various ways. Pat, we didn't even talk about the shiny blood. Oh, that's right. The bloody it rivers. is super shiny. It's shiny blood everywhere. So, there's a lot of blood. Just just a little bit. I wonder how much of it is hers. Yep, so she's been doing some... The story is she's been doing some really fucked up experiments and stuff and we're coming now to stop her, so... Like, all these little things are her creations. Um, I mean, they're literally called things like that. Like, uh, these are blood elementals, so that's not really a... Like, right here, the tentacle miscreation. Uh, yeah, so they're just little things that she has done. She, she, she's a little messed up in the head, to put it, to put it bluntly. Yeah, pretty much. My spirit is spent. What? How did I run out of mana? Impossible. It's not impossible. So basically, we're just going up everywhere where there's stairs. We're just going up and up as much as humanly possible. You think we'd eventually get to the previous floor if we did that, but you know, whatever. I mean, technically, if you want to be a fucking buzzkill, but sure. Oh, okay. All right. Fuck. Unless this area is just like a massive cathedral, just hey. filled with blood. Hey, you're never using really <laughs> crap, by the way. I am using it every time it's off cooldown. No, you're not. You're dead, I'm not getting hit by it sometimes. I'm trying to stay as close to you as possible, alright? My fucking mana sucks. I mean, you are literally the, the class furthest away from mana in every way, shape, and form. That's okay. By the way, if Leech doesn't do a whole lot for you early on, that's fine. That's actually normal. Usually your mana Leech is much more effective later in the game. Because you do a lot more damage. It's kind of weird how that scales. The, the point four I have is actually enough for the end game, but maybe not completely enough for right now. Eh. Falls of Eagles, man. I just realized he had that name. Uh, that, that's, a, that's definitely a name, Mike. I'm not saying it's the best name, but it's a name. It's a name. Ah, right, here we go. Some blue of these guys. You just like spinning on them, don't you? Yeah. Also, I didn't get Wild Strike yet. Do you have Wild Strike? Uh, probably? Yeah, well, go fucking get it for me right now. Make a portal for me. Fine, fuck it. I didn't see Wild Strike there. I actually wanna- I, I want to really do Wild Strike. I like Wild Strike. Uh... Wild... yeah, I got Wild Strike. Yeah. I need an Orb of uh, Chance though for it. Fuck. Things I do for you. Things you- what? What? Exactly. Things you do for me? I don't have that many more chancers left. It's because you keep wasting them, dude. Yeah, fuck. I don't care. Mild strike. Where was it? There it is. 
There you go. All Have right. fun with that. Alright, that's a nice ability. That's a good ability. So, this one... So we tried Cyclone out for a bit, and this one is a bit different. Go, out, go on in, Pat. So this one converts all of your damage to elemental damage, and it, it chooses one random thing to do. It either explode, do a chaining lightning attack, or do like a little piercing frost attack, and why do we go this way? I don't know. It's never this way. It's always the way with the one card. I, I always tell Pat that. Yeah, by the way, when you hit the air, it's nothing happens. See? Oh, well, I hit something else. <laughs> you, hit a, you hit a vase. Yeah. So this is the problem I had with it, which is like, if you're stuck in the air, uh, if you're just not doing anything in the air, then it just like, if you if you don't hit anything, it doesn't do anything, which is weird. But it's very strong. I still think it's a good attack. It's still very strong, but it is very much the definition of a fucking straight melee ability. But the problem is if you- I wouldn't even say that. It's got all these extra effects on it. I mean, come on. It's not even straight melee. I mean, it, it does if you hit something. That it, that's, that, that's the important part. So you can see, like, it's choosing, like, a random thing. And there's a there's an ability in this game called, uh, sorry, a, a support gem called Multi-Strike, where it locks you into three attacks, but they're very fast attacks. Um, and that's normally what I would put on this, but, um, and then, like, then it becomes really fucking annoying, because then, like, you finish killing them on the first hit, but you're locked into, like, two more things. <laughs> it's like, and then you're just hitting the air for no reason. I feel like now you're just complaining to complain. Obviously. Like you, it's like you hate everything, Mike. Come on. Every, not everything can't not have a drawback. It's very strong, though, I will say. It's actually stronger than fucking Cyclone. Alright, let's go Cyclone has that, like, you know, you have to get closer to them and do the spin. You're not entirely in control of yourself, so it's not, you know, weird. I don't know, yeah. man. I don't know how to say it. Anyways, this, this ability is more like an elemental ability, so it scales very well off of elemental damage if you decide to go that route. That's, that's what I have a lot of. Yeah. Because it takes your weapon damage and converts it. Anyways, time to fight Piety. We don't know that yet. So you've chosen to end our affair, Julius. I shall cherish your memory. I kind of like her. A little opening there. She's, she's just beating her face in. Yeah, she... <laughs> I know. She converts into two forms, either an ice form, you run away from the ice form, and you fight the fight. You man fight the, the, the fire form. Let's, let's let her go into the fucking portal. No, she's not gonna go in there. I, I want to show off her the ice form that she had. Okay, I, I, I stopped stop my shit. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So, so this is the one you run away from, because it's like really high damage. You just hide behind the pillars. Even even then, I'm like, oh, fucking take the damage. Fuck over here. Yeah, that's all done. Damn you! Damn you! It's probably she's even able to say that. Sorry, beautiful, but someone had to put a stop to all this ugliness. Good job. Oh, dude, I have a I have a roll on my armor here that has two percent additional physical damage reduction. Neat. Nice. It's a new one. All right, we are done. That is the mini boss of this act, believe it or not. Well, the halfway boss, yeah. Yep. So I'll talk to everyone here, and we'll get a reward. Wherever he is, I'm sure Tolman knows what you've done. I know you didn't do it for him or for me. It doesn't matter. Piety's reign of cruelty is over. Thank you. Watch yourself. Piety dies amongst her abominations, her warped dream taunting her, maddeningly out of reach. As a poet, I'm fond of that creed of justice. Here, the executioner needs recompense. Unfortunately, Piety was simply a puppet of a greater force. You've cut the strings, but the master remains. Dominus. That key you've picked up, I heard the blackguards talk of it. It's the one key to the Scepter of God on the northern edge of the Blackguard encampment. Only piety was permitted to carry it. Dominus accessed his laboratory at the summit of the tower via a pulley system rigged to the outside wall. That way will be barred to you. And I heard of no one 
Not even piety, going in or coming out of the lower levels. Go with care, exile. I can't imagine what's inside that tower if even piety and Dominus feared to tread its steps. Tread carefully, All right. exile. Is there anyone else we need to talk to? Yeah, there's two more people. You have claimed the most worthy of prey, Makoru. Piety, the mistress of corruption. I'm not saying that the war is over, but you've given Ray Class a much needed respite. Because of you, this land lives to see another door. And don't forget that you've done Grigor a justice of some magnitude. He will wish to speak to you. Be well. Piety's off to meet the maker, is she? I'd love to be a fly on the wall of that little chat. Alright, well, we're done here, and I think that's all the time we got for today, guys, so we'll see you later. Goodbye. Yeah, fun. There'll be time for that soon enough.